Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome to Miss M and Napoleon's. We should have put your name in there somewhere, shouldn't we? Napoleon's Art. Maybe we could have called it Napoleon's Art. Hey, we'll think about that for our next YouTube channel. So today we are going to use your imagination. First of all, could you grab some scrap paper because we're going to do a really quick warm up, warm up the art brain. So I'm going to use some of my back of things. So warming up your art brain, as I always say, is just like warming up your muscles before you do sport. So grab, doesn't matter, back of something that you've already used, just for a quick warm up. All right, so can you please draw me something that starts with the letter D. All right, Nip. Oh, oh, oh. Just very quickly. Now remember with warm up, you really don't want to think about it much because you don't have very long. Uh, and stop, I did dog. Okay, that's in honor of you, Napoleon. Can you draw me something that is long? Very long, as long as you can think and go. long as you can nice and long just a quick one remember we're just warming up the brain doesn't have to be perfect these are things that you don't keep all right and stop now can you draw me something that is very small something that's small and go tiny tiny as small as you can all right stop i've done an ant can you please draw me something that is hot Something that's piping hot. Miss M loves her coffee in the morning. I've done a hot coffee and stop. All right, so just a really, really quick warm up. Now, today what we are going to do is I'm going to read you out some descriptions of what I would like you to draw. Now, we're going to do three fairly quick ones. And then you are going to choose your one that you want to almost make your good copy or one that you're going to spend more time on. So I love using A3 paper. So if you've only got A4 at home, I'd like you to stick two pieces together. So you have, it's called portrait when it's that way, a portrait size A3 piece of paper. So that's two smaller ones stuck together because you'll need that space today and today you will need a glue stick and some scissors Nick where did you put my scissors here we go and some scissors so glue stick scissors and then we'll use a gray lead um, and or black textures and later on when you choose which one that you're going to use as your good copy you can then bring in textures pencils paint whatever you would like all right now, if you need to pause me at any stage during the filming, you can do so. All right, so I'm going to read slowly, but these three are almost a bit like um, a plan as well. So see how you go. All right, so on your first page, now yours is going to look different to mine. I hope it does because you can put, when I say things, you can put them anywhere. All right. So some things will be the same, but I want you to make it your own. This is not a copying art show. I'm not big into that. All right. So first of all, I would like you to draw me a large hill. So all right, I'm going to do a really tall one. Middle. Yours can have bumps in it if you would like. Yours can go nearly to the top. Yours can go halfway. Yours can be whatever you like, but a large hill. Now, I would like you to draw some spiky trees, wherever you like. They can be on the mountain, the top of the mountain, the bottom of the mountain, the side of the mountain, wherever you like. And your spiky trees can look however you want. So many different trees in the world, they can look whatever way you want. Create your own sort of tree. I love trees. I'm a bit of a tree hugger, I think I've said that before. How many trees you do is also up to you. You can add later also to this if you would like. I 
you can go back and add later. All right, I'm just going to take a few more spiky trees. Remember, you can pause me anytime you want. One down here. Okay. All right, so I've done my large hill. I've done my spiky trees. Now I'd like you to do clouds of different sizes and different shapes. You know, have you ever laid on the ground and looked up and there's all sorts of different size and shape clouds? Love clouds. You might have big fluffy ones, you might have thin ones, whatever you like. Clouds, clouds, clouds sometimes look like things, don't they? Now remember, you can always go back and add later. All right, so I'd like you to put a little tiny town somewhere. It can be in the background, it could be on your hill, it could be anywhere. Do you know what? It could even be in your cloud. Do you know what? That's where I'm going to put mine, in a cloud. Art, if it's not good for one thing, it's good for your imagination and you can do. There is no right or wrong. So I'm going to put my little town in my clouds. Why not? But you can put yours anywhere. Absolutely anywhere. Little tiny town. Road in mine. Now again, you can add more to yours. I'm just going quickly to show you the process. All right, so that's our first one. We can leave it. I've got my very big hill. I've got some spiky trees. I've got clouds of different shapes and sizes. And I've got my little town up in the clouds. All right, so that's number one. We're going to need that later. So just put that aside. All right, I'm going to grab another piece of paper. Oh, thank you. How do you find that? Your own little shelter. Do you like that or is that really annoying? You don't seem to mind, do you? <laughs> All right, our next one. Again, I like it um, if you've got a bigger piece of paper, but whatever you've got. If you have to stick two pieces together, fine. Now, I think I'm going to do this one portrait, this is called, when it's this way. All right. I would like you to draw an ocean. Now, we're going to do things in our ocean, so I'm going to do mine sort of a bit more than halfway up the page. So I've got room. Now, yours might have big waves, might be still and flat however you want your ocean to look. No right or wrong. So an ocean. Now on your ocean, I'd like you to draw some large and small boats, please. You, now again, no right or wrong way how to draw a boat because there's all sorts of different boats. There's very simple little boats. There's big cruisers. However you would like to draw your boat. You can do some little tiny boats. Big and small. Oh, I'm going to do a long, thin one, Napoleon. Lots of sails. Oh, what's that? Is that the birds? Ooh. The birds tease Nip, don't they? I love teasing you. Cheeky, aren't they? Alright, so I've got boats on my ocean. I would like you to do a treasure chest somewhere. A treasure chest somewhere. I'm going to put it in the bottom of my ocean. Could be in your boat if you wanted. They might have just found it. A treasure chest in your ocean. A big lock on it and lock and key. Oh, how exciting. I'm going to do something over a little fishing thing over there. Now, last thing is a whale or a really big fish whatever you like i think i might just draw one enormous fish like enormous Ooh, he's big he's a lot to eat he must be like a hundred years old my fish nip little eye cute little lips all right and again remember we can add later so we're just doing a basic drawing now and we're going to add later. So I put that one aside. There's my ocean with my different size boats, a treasure chest. 
and a very large fish. Now, last one. Um, I'm going to, you can do it this way or that way. I really don't mind. Now, I'm going to do mine this way and I'm going to draw, I would like you to draw a city, but the road halfway across the page. Now, you might decide whichever way you want your picture to go. Halfway across the page, there goes my road. I might even put a little stop sign here, Nip. My preps and I did a great prep city last term. All right, so a city with tall and small buildings. All right, tall buildings. I wonder if any of your mums or dads usually work in the city. They probably don't at the moment. I'm going to do a tiny little building at the front here. The city must have been built around. Now, again, we're not going to do all our details straight away because remember you're going to choose one that you would like to work on more than others. This is my city. You can put anything in a city, really. Some can have round tops. Some can have big windows, small windows. Curved doors, however you like. Might be a tree in the background. Sometimes there's a few trees in the city. Usually lots and lots of buildings. All right, you can draw some people in your city walking along the footpath. I'm just going to do really small, simple people for now. Maybe put a car here. Do some buses. Whatever you like. Growing and work in the city. You can put as much detail as you want in yours. All right. Now, that is our three things that we're doing. I've got a city with a road, some people, some cars. You can do a lot more in yours. I'm just doing it really quickly. Now, the fun part of this exercise is this part. We're going to do sections of your drawing that open up. And you have to use your imagination to see what's behind there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a part of my road open up so that you can see open up to underneath the city. So I'm going to, and you might need your parents to help you do this. If you fold it like that, it can help start. Now, this is a big flap for underneath the city. What on earth is going to be under our city nip? Oh, my imagination's going wild already. So that's the part that's going to open up and reveal whatever your imagination wants under the city. So you'll need more paper to go underneath it. So I'm going to turn this over some glue on everything except for the flap that opens. You don't want to glue the flap down. Alright, we'll glue it on top of another piece of paper, like so, push it down. And here, now, we have an area that we can draw what is happening under my city. So I'm going to do that in a minute, but let's see. Do you know what? On here, you could open up a section of your treasure chest. What's in your treasure chest? But do you know what? I'm going to do something extra silly. I'm going to. And you can do whatever part of your picture you want to open up. I'm going to do the belly of the fish and show what he's been eating. Mm -hmm. A bit crazy, isn't it, Nick? All right. So I'm going to cut out a section of the belly that you can open up and we will see you can draw here what's inside the belly so again I want you to glue everywhere except for that part oh, oh gosh Miss Amy a bit crazy with the glue stick crazy daisy and the glue stick all right now, I have only done this with grey lead and I've only done it quicker. So, 
after you do yours you might decide which one you would like to do this and spend a lot more time doing color and everything oh a bit of glue under there so for that one i can decide what to put in the tummy now for this one i'm going to open the bottom of the mountain and i'm going to see what's living inside the mountain or what's happening inside the mountain so for this one i'm just going to go from the bottom and lift that up like that nip and i just went for a very big walk goodness me you're sleeping on the job a lot lately all right glue down the side Another bit of paper behind. Oh, top of there. So now's the fun part. The imagination part. The best part. So now I've got three different things that I need to decide. I need to decide what is inside my mountain, what's inside my fish, and what's inside my city. So let me do the fish first. I'm going to see different things that he has eaten. All right. I think he's eaten a scuba diver. Got a mask on. He's been swimming. He's got the flippers on. funny flippers so he swallowed a scuba diver he's swallowed a little boat because he's such a big fish now again i am just doing this really quickly he swallowed a pizza someone's pizza fell off their boat he swallowed some treasure that maybe came bloop, 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 bloop up from there so there's a whole lot of gold coins in his tummy and vases fancy vases gold vases so I did that very quickly, but this big fish has swallowed a scuba diver, a small boat, a pizza, and some other stuff out of the treasure chest. So you would spend more time. You can even color in the water, add more creatures in there, do some more detail on it. Remember, I'm just here for ideas and I want you, whatever, you can open up anywhere you like. You don't have to open up what I say. All right, so under the city. What's happening under our city, Nip? I think aliens live under my city. Antennas. They're living quite happily under our city. We don't even know it. Not hurting anyone. Just having a lovely time. And we've got little tiny aliens there. Again, you can spend more time creating their house, whatever they want. You can, whatever lives under your city. I'm having aliens live under my city. So it looks all very normal. And then under the road, there's a whole lot of aliens living in my city. I'd love to see you come up with something different. I love it when you send things to me and you show me what is underneath. So what could I do living under here? Maybe I'm going to draw a hole in the side of mine, my big um, mountain, and I'm going to have a bear sleeping in here. He's hibernating. I don't know how they sleep for winter. Got his eyes closed, are big, and his bottom in the air. <laughs> a big bear sleeping in, and he's. Got his little pillow, maybe even put a blanket over him. <laughs> He's sleeping for the winter. He's got it like a little cave in here. <laughs> There's my bear sleeping in there for the winter. Now you remember, I want you to do something different to me. You could have all sorts of things living inside your hill. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop and maybe do some colouring in and have a bit of fun with those and put some extra detail in. Remember, you might even, after you finish the drawing, just choose one you would like to work on and put a really lot of effort and detail into it. Really add some colour and add a lot more than I said. 
make it more interesting. That was just a starting point. Where you go from now is the fun part. But the lifting of the flaps, you might have small ones. Some of your clouds might open up. You might have houses that open up and you can see what's going on in your house. You can have parts of your city open up so you can see what's happening inside of the buildings. Totally up to you. Now, Napoleon, it's time to say goodbye. You're going to wake up. It's got a new red collar. You're looking pretty fancy. Oh, such a big walk. Didn't you go for a big walk today? Hey, you love going for a walk, but it makes you a little bit tired. Hey, say thank you to everyone for joining us. Say thank you. We love it when you watch our show. So send me your artwork. Show me how amazing your imagination is. But most of all, have fun. Bye.